when you're on holidays, you don't want to eat like a pig, but you want to get home and have a net zero uh, weight gain. The only way to do that is to exercise. So right now I'm going to go cross leg. It's going to take me approximately uh, 45 minutes. Come back. I'm going to bring you through my paddleboard yoga routine for old fat guys. Quads, right? You got your core. All six beers I had yesterday, they're gone. Paddleboarding's great. You got snot coming out my nose, it's great. So, another thing you have to do at the cottage. Well, you don't have to. What a, who the hell am I? You don't have to do anything. Anyway, you got your hazy pale ale from Lake of Bays. Shout out to them. I love this beer. Give it a try if you get a chance. One thing you have to do when you're at the cottage, you got to build a nut chuck, right? So, the history or the origin of the a nut chuck is. Uh, Aboriginal folks or uh, what is it? Um, First Nations First Nations people would build these as guideposts so rather than turning right at the 7-Eleven it was turn right at Anakshak number 10 or I may have that right I'm you no do. I'm no history teacher but anyway the criteria for the perfect Anakshak at the cottage is you got to have two legs hips a belly I got to find some arms and then you got to have a head all right, just like a human being. So, thus far we've got two legs, we've got the hips, we've got the belly. Searching for some arms. Typically you want the arms to extend so out past. <laughs> Folks, we may have a winner. We may have a winner, it's beautiful. <gasps> oh, oh, is it gonna work? Oh, we're there. Mm. In keeping with the granite, we gotta find a granite head. Oh, I can't have this come crashing down because right next to it is my mother's, which defies gravity, and my father-in-law's on the other side. So if I take those out, I'm in deep doo-doo. I'm sure they'll redo the well. And we've got it. Wow. Maybe wow. the that's beautiful. Nicest nut shuck on the lake. Since we've been here, there's been a nine nut shucks built. We're gonna be have a little interaction here and have you vote on who did the best nut shuck. Is it a nut shuck number one built by Hattie? A nut shuck number two built by the drunken law or drunken tourist mother-in-law? Is it number three built by our little friend Hattie again? Is it number four built by the drunken tourist? Is it number five, built by the drunken tourist? Is it number six? Drunken built, tourist. Built by the, the odds are first. Number seven, the drunken tourist's mother. Or number eight, just built as you witnessed by the drunken tourist. Or number nine, built by the drunken tourist father-in-law. All right. Great. So what I'm gonna Submit do now is I'm- so, Another thing when you're at the cottage, you gotta invite the in-laws up here. I got the drunken tourist father, wife's father here. So you wanna be on film? Wave. <laughs> All right, I, if he doesn't like it, I can cut it. Anyway, the other thing you have to do, you have to cook with a charcoal barbecue around the lake. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got a big tomahawk here. We've got the coals fired up as hot as they're gonna be. That's when you wanna get a char on the, the meat. It's Plopper Ooh, down there. Look at that sizzle. Get a good flame that's going to give you good fire. And we're good to go. Well, we'll wait to see what the work is. So look at that beautiful char that we got. That's 10 minutes of uh, serious hot flame. That's what you want. That keeps all the flavors inside, all the juices. Now we're going to flip it over. Oh, geez, I almost lost it there. We'll flip it over, put the other side now. Good to go. <laughs> So this is going really well, I'm telling you. It's absolutely perfect. Trying to impress your in-laws too, aren't you? <laughs> I want the water on the lid for steam, right? That creates oh, moisture in the meat. That's I knew what I, I, I knew what I was doing. So three times? Three times, not a charm. 
How many martinis have you had? <laughs> That's only one martini. My father-in-law is a smart ass like me. <laughs> we turned, we had about 10 minutes of a burning flame and this is the char we got on top. That's what you want. That sears the flavor in. In there, you're gonna have it rare or medium rare or well done for father-in-law. So we're good to go. And we'll uh, let this go for a bit. We're gonna let it char a little more then we're gonna take it off, let the charcoal burn down and then put the lid on. Not gonna flip it over? Oh, it's already flipped over. So when you got your family up here, in particular your in-laws, you better impress them. And I think this thing's going to impress them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. Uh, drunken tourist's uh, wife's uh, mother, is this going to impress you? It looks perfect. All it's right. Very all nice. right. We're all good. It's, it's, actually, it's amazing shape. Uh, <laughs> it looks just like <laughs> you said it was. A, what type of a bone was it? Tomahawk. A tomahawk, yes. Yep. It looks just like it. <laughs> all right, she's natural on film. All right, we're good. All right, let's... Um, uh, I am, uh, just trying to go back. There we go. Oh. Maybe I can't sleep. So, I thought we'd do a segment here on uh, some paddleboard yoga right and uh you know you always see the hot young gals on youtube um you know giving you instructions and exercises but uh a fat old guy like me i can't uh, i can't do that stuff so this is a segment i do when you're on holidays you want to eat like a pig so you got to do a little exercise to allow for a little extra room in there for your burgers and your corn and what have you so anyway let's get started now I got rid of my regular trunks and put on my little European ditch here. And uh, it eliminates any chafing. Just uh, between the scrotum and your thighs. And... So anyway, one of the things I love to do, I love to do push-ups. I can do about 25, 30 push-ups at home on the floor, no problem. But you get on a paddle board, your whole core is working. We're gonna try and do 10, 12. Downward dog. I think that's what they call it anyway. Remember, paddle board yoga okay for old fat guys. Oh, oh stretch. Feel that in your lower back. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Get old, those back, back pains get a little more persistent. So, that's a great one. All right, so. Great one for the stomach. ACL, so this is a great one for you fellas that are an ACL or you ladies. So oh, balance yourself, kick that back leg up, keeping keeping it straight. Twelve of those, balancing the whole time, working that core. Oh. 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 Good. Now you want to get your foot in the center. Let's see if we can uh, pull one leg. Got that right. Squats. Let's do a set of 10. Keep that back straight. Oh. See you balancing, working the core. Oh. Stomach. Quads, oh, working it all. Fantastic. You want to give a big stretch to the groin. Stretch that groin. Bring your ankles in as far as you can. And then push your hands up as high as you can. Stretch that back. 
Stretch that back, arms down, and then back. A little shout out to uh, Collective Arts in Hamilton, a little uh, life in the clouds. It's got a nice soft citrusy flavor, not too hoppy. At the end of a little paddleboard yoga for old dudes. This is the best way to end it off with some eight ounce curls, huh? 12 ounce curls. This damn thing working. Okay, in keeping with having some great meals, eating a lot of crap, hamburgs and hot dogs and chips and beer, you gotta make sure you go home and uh, you're net zero on the weight loss. So anyway, we bought this game. I hate to endorse Walmart, but we bought it at Walmart, 29 bucks. Includes the net. Two rackets of this type of thing. It's got a pride uh, birdie that doesn't go as far as the typical badminton birdie. And they gave you two uh, badminton rackets as well. So, frisbee. and a frisbee and a volleyball. So. 29 bucks. I hate to endorse Walmart, but can't beat that. All right, let's get out of these questions. <laughs> so one of the things you got to do when you're at a cottage is you got to have good friends up and that's what we've done today except for that guy climbing in <laughs> but we got some good you folks here they signed a waiver they said they're okay to be on the video didn't <laughs> all right and that guy hey oh, sorry there's the first mate gilligan sorry drunken Jack, tourist Jackie you need to do what do you need to do <laughs> oh god oh and you got to rent a boat and drive around the lake for the love of God, do it. It's fun. We love them. Eat. Pick up some people. Pick up some people and maybe make them your friends. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, we don't even know these people. Yeah. Yeah, I can Yes, dear. Do you know the drunken tourist? Um, I've heard of him. Is he on uh, Instagram or? Oh, oh my God, are you the drunken? Look it, I got fans all over the place. cottage you got a fish off the dock it's been raining all day so it's a perfect day you just day. squirted me <laughs> spill that martini for the love of god it's a stupid freaking sport oh, oh. that's something just a man his martini the lake and his fishing rod that's what it's all about oh and his wife. Oh it came right off. What? The whole line. That was a massive failure. Here. Did you get close? Well, look at that girl. Would you look at that? First cast. E.T.'s wife. 
catches a starfish. Now we gotta get this little fella. We gotta get him off the hook. Off the hook and back out in the back up. Now the other thing you have to do when you're at the cottage, you gotta pour yourself a little coffee. My personal favorite, Cabot Trail, maple cream. Add it to your coffee. And grab yourself a book and head out to the dock. Now when at the cottage, actually even at home on the weekend, one thing Canadians love to do is have a classic Canadian Caesar. Hold on, let me turn the radio off. I got the news talk on. It's all bullshit. Sorry about that. So, like to use a uh, key thing. I know I got a little, I'm topping up a, a previous Caesar, but uh, lots of ice. That's a key. Lots of ice, especially when you're going out in the sunshine. Now, we like a little twist on our Caesar. We like to put a little lemon vodka in there. Just a little. Three second pour, huh? Three second pour. A little Worcestershire sauce, or however the hell you say that. And uh, you can be pretty liberal with that. And we don't get too crazy, you know? We don't uh, put shrimp or anything like that. We got a little Frank's hot sauce. Where we are a little, perhaps, unique or creative is we use pickled garlic scapes, which we uh, pickled at home as a uh, result of a gift from one of our fantastic neighbors that sell uh, garlic but the scape is the part that comes up the flower comes up off when it's blooming then we're going to use a little uh, Mott's Clamato the works from our, our American friends it's very similar to a Bloody Mary the biggest difference is it's Clamato juice and not tomato juice so it's a little uh, thinner in, in terms of viscosity. We just uh, top it off with a little bit of Slap Your Mama seasoning from the great state of Louisiana. Give her a little finger stir. It's for the drunken tourist wife, she won't like that. Anyway, make sure it's good before you take it out to the wipe. Top shelf. Top shelf. So that's what you gotta do. Cat <coughs> Hmm. A little too much of something in there. Classic Canadian. Yeah, no, 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 no. I can't sleep, I can't sleep, no, no. When you're at the cottage, it's nighttime, you got the bonfire going. You gotta do s'more. It's a thing you gotta do by the campfire, by the lake with your family, your friends. Anyway, let's get her going. We got marshmallows. Get a little bit of, bit of a char going there. Blow it out. Put it on the cracker. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, but we'll see. You put it on the graham cracker that has the chocolate already there. Above the fire so you can see. I got, yeah, I got my father-in-law is laughing at me. What the hell's going on? All right. We give her a bit of a shot. See what how it tastes. <laughs> That's some good. That's some good stuff. All right, I screwed up on my s'mores. Let's hand it over to the DT's wife. She's no. She knows what she's doing. Yep. Okay. So you have the arrow chocolate bars down below. You're gonna put the two ooh, marshmallows right on top there, and then you put the top one on top. And you smush it down. You got your s'mores. Got great s'mores. Mmm. Yummy. So another thing you have to do when you're on your cottage vacation, you gotta support the local restaurants. We found a great little spot here, right on the water on Cameron Lake. It's called that place on Cameron. I'm gonna check out the food here. We'll give you a review at the end, and uh, we're pretty criti critical. You know that. Oh, oh, there's some other-in-law enjoying things. Anyway, <laughs> we'll give you a little. Uh, Visual. So 
so thus far, everybody's happy with what they've gotten here. The I've dip. got the foot long. They've got the beef dip. Uh, the meat the dip fish. is lovely. Greek salad done. Greek salad and Brooke is on her game. Enjoy that. Oh, looks good. It, it's funny, the beef dip. Mmm. So we just came from uh, that place on Cameron, on Cameron Lake, the restaurant. Fantastic. Everybody, in-laws had the beef dip. They loved it. I had the foot long. DT's wife had the haddock, was all right. But there it is there, you got a great view of Cameron Lake and uh, and a little slow service because they're short staff. So give them a break, you're on the lake, who cares? Have a beer. Right. Another thing they have to do when you're at the cottage is support the local farmer's markets. Fresh produce, right from the fields, they grow right there. You gotta support the local farmers and the local markets, it's great. And you're getting quality produce, quality product. Another thing you have to do when you're at the cottage, now we're very fortunate that the cottage we're staying at includes bike rentals. But you're out on these beautiful old country roads, very little traffic. You can go out, stock the million dollar cottages and just have a great time. Right, DT's wife? That's right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> night of our wonderful holiday on Balsam Lake. If you're looking for a place to go, quiet, serene, picturesque, full of activity, interesting. Balsam Lake on the Trent Severn is fantastic. In the Corthas. In the Corthas, Cortha Lakes region. You will absolutely love this area. Give it a try. We've had a great time. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I never never get this right. Hit like and subscribe or do whatever the hell you want. Who am I? Just give it a thumbs up. Yeah. And on a solemn note, I would just like to pay tribute to a great loss that we've endured over the last month. We've lost our brother-in-law, John, and he loved cottage country. He loved the fresh water. He loved the lakes. He loved to swim. And uh, he liked the, the odd scotch. Sorry, Johnny. I still like my martinis, but uh, here's to you, brother. <laughs>